Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a quick overview of an amazing new tool in Luminar Neo, the restoration feature. If you've been here for a while, you might remember that I've already made a similar video about photo restoration. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link right here. This time I'll use the exact same photo and see what Luminar can do with it. Let's drag it into the window. You can choose between a full restoration or fix just color or scratches separately. We'll wait a bit. And this time, I'm not going to speed up the footage or cut out the processing time. I want you to see exactly how long it takes. While we're waiting, let me quickly mention something exciting. With this update, Luminar Neo also introduced an ecosystem. Now you can edit your photos across devices. Start on your phone and continue on your desktop without missing a beat. There's also a new online gallery feature where you can upload and showcase your work. For beginner photographers who don't have their own website yet, this is a game changer. Oh, and there's another brand new tool called Light Depth. Here's a brand new tool that's definitely worth checking out. I'll give you a quick look while the photo is still processing. This is what it looks like. Pretty interesting, right? But we'll save it for next time. Wow, just look at that. Like, are you serious? Guys, if you could see my face right now, this is unbelievable. I'm absolutely blown away. The quality, the details, everything looks fantastic. What do you think? Did Luminar do a good job? Let me know in the comments. Let's test a few more photos. Last time when I restored this same photo manually, it took me hours and several attempts to get something decent. But now, just a few minutes, Yes, a full restoration takes only about one to two minutes per photo. And honestly, that's incredibly fast for this kind of result. I'm still pleasantly shocked. I'm really curious to see how Luminar handles this one. It's not as damaged as the previous photo, but there are still a few details that definitely need attention. I'd love to try this on some of my personal retro pictures, but they're in another city right now, and I couldn't wait to share this with you. So I'll use a few public stock photos for now. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of how the faces turned out in this one. Let's try just the color option instead. I think I'll skip showing the full processing for this in the next few photos, just to keep the video from getting too long. We already got a feel for how fast it works, so no need to repeat it each time. A bit better, but the faces still look slightly off. All right, let's move on to another one. Nice, this one looks great. I really like it. It's fascinating how the AI decides what colors to use for things like clothes, hair, and background. Let's also try a landscape. Honestly, I could do this all day. That's beautiful. And of course, we can still keep editing afterward. Maybe change the sky. And now it looks like a modern photo. And finally, let's try this portrait. Such a unique image. I really want to see it in color beautiful and soft, though the jacket color was a surprise. I'll add a quick touch up. I'll just tweak the color a bit, apply auto adjustments and use Enhance AI to clean things up. And there we go. I'm honestly amazed by this update. It really changes the game. Restoring old photos now takes just a fraction of the time and the results are incredible. Definitely give it a try yourself and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.